My name is Mary Moses, and today we are going to be connecting with the spirit of Austin. Austin has things to say to his mother and to his family in the form of scrying. Scrying is a telepathic vision, and through the Holy Spirit, I use my body to allow the spirit of God to flow into a paper. You can call it a TV or a television. It is a telepathic vision. Austin also is bringing forward numerology and even wrote a song that um, I sang that is called automatic singing. It's kind of like automatic writing. So whatever popped into my head is what Austin, I believe, is saying to you. Austin is facing the West and has a big heart over his chest saying that he's in a place where he's with you still. He's touching a phoenix and an older person with a rabbit at 11 o'clock. And there's a man with a hat that somehow is connected to Austin with the symbol of driving a car and a hummingbird. When we turn the piece upside down, we can see Austin driving a car with a hummingbird and a rainbow. This is flying like a pretty little bluebird over the seven colors of the rainbow, but it is also a steering wheel. Something about deciding to leave this world in order to go to the other body of Austin, which is at 2 o'clock, where he has a Merkaba or a diamond, holding on to his steering wheel, which reflects that he bounced his consciousness into a parallel body. And this parallel body is in a realm where he is with you and is still with you. It says the land of Oz, and Oz is a place that is a mirror reality, and the real world is Iris, the goddess of the rainbow, and this spells the word Osiris. How many breaths, how many heartbeats were given to you at your birth, they are counted. The number 7388 showed up in Austin's piece, and I'm going to present them to you here. This means that his death and his life was decided before he was born. I hereby remove the concepts of hell or the lake of fire. No more punishment. Just start over from the beginning and try again to do better this time. So basically speaking of reincarnation, but it's not reincarnation necessarily. It's more a bouncing of consciousness to a parallel body and life where you are still there in some strange way. God aligned me at the perfect time to witness and hear through the heart, the beautiful bagpipes, the prayer, the music, all that was holy in that moment. It's very beautiful. The Holy Trinity was one man and two women, just one. Come with me. I made my choice. Um, I think that there's something about how we are all one spirit. The gods control your thoughts and actions by STDS connected to your central nervous system along your spinal cord. So they control our thoughts and sometimes even our actions. Isn't that interesting? I guess that makes sense why Jesus died at 33 since there's 33 vertebrae in your spine. It is more profitable to him if a weighty millstone is put around his neck and he hath been cast into the sea than that he may cause one of these little ones to stumble. When we're talking about the sea, we're talking about the age of Pisces. Pisces is a painful place to grow our soul into the age of Aquarius. This is why Jesus said, follow me to living waters. But he that hath his brother is in darkness and walketh in darkness and knoweth not whither he goeth because that darkness hath blinded his eyes. Wow, I can see the devil talking through people. Never trust people with ugly souls. Mm -hmm. God can talk through people and the devil can talk through people basically. So you know a person by the fruit of their tree. Some people um, are jerks. So listen to this song that Austin wrote just for you. I am you, you are me, we are 